Ready Player Will. Welcome back, Christians fans. Ready Player Will here. We're doing another free match showcase today. Got a lot of positive feedback from the one we did yesterday. I'm going to try to do exactly the same thing, but with a completely different team. And so the emphasis today, you know, we did Sephiroth yesterday. Well, let's give Cloud a showcase today. And I specifically want to highlight, uh, this isn't my favorite team to pick, but we got some upgrades recently where Stern, Wing of Destiny, actually got a limit break upgrade here where he gets AoE res pen on the limit break. I dispel the debuffs itself and, and the debuff weakening for self. So I wanted to have a chance to use this limit break in real time. And then you'll notice I'm actually using the OG original Lucio, who also got a limit break upgrade uh, recently, just this last week, where he got some physical damage increase and some damage absorb capability for three turns, in addition to the Starlight Sword getting upgrade, where it got an extra 5% all element res here. So I'm going to put that sword into action. And so, yeah, the concept here is that we're going to use a mono light team that's obviously oriented around cloud he's the strongest student of these three and so we'll talk through the the team build we'll talk about the initial placements and the ai expectations and why i do what i do and then we're going to queue it up and see how it works so this is obviously a very light oriented slash oriented team where i am using uh, an aoe card in the slot here for a dark bahamut to give to the team that slash tack up the acquired ap up now unfortunately there is some redundancy in this team building this rams a card also gives slash attack up, which does not stack with the Dark Bahamut. I could put this in the sub slot, but one of my concerns is just that I do want Stern to have a relatively respectable attack stat here. If I were to put the Bahamut a card in the main slot instead, which is the other light agility percent card, that obviously would nerf his uh, attack a fair bit. It's also technically less agility percent, which I don't really want. I do want them to be on the faster side of things. So although it's a little duplicative, not the end of the world, I am using a unit res here card. This is the new great sword, but you'll notice Stern is actually not on this. So I'm taking a little bit of a risk here with uh, Stern taking a below am average amount of unit res. I am at least giving him the Maximilian armor though to hopefully bulk him up just that little bit extra this is not an armor that stern typically gets uh historically just because it typically goes to a different unit for for preference perspective but i am going with lucio as a keen blade variant where i do want him to group buff that ct up to the party i do have uh, some slash res pen cards here this is the final fantasy 14 card that was limited so this gives them some bulk with the hp it also gives them that that 21 percent uh, slash res pen i also have the uh, Rob Horn Vision card in the sub slot here for the attack. So this is a pretty juiced up offensive team. I have Ultros on Lucio who innately has 40 defense pen, but he'll get 60 now with Ultros. I do have a defense pen passive, uh, touchdown passive as well. And you'll notice stat wise, this uh, this Lucio is actually max reincarnated. Technically, all three of these units are max reincarnated. I don't have all units at that level, but these are three that I did believe in. I did heavily invest in. And so, yeah, you're looking at a Lucio with 13,000 HP and 2,000 attack. This Stern here is 13,000 HP and 1,700 attack. And the granddaddy of them all, this Cloud, is almost 15,000 HP and 2,300 attack. Uh, very, very strong unit. So that's the team concept. We'll talk about the initial placement and what I have in terms of uh, goals for the AI here. And so one of the benefits of free match is the ability to place these units where you want. And this is massively important for certain units that you make you want to make sure they get X amount of buffs off. You want to make sure they don't run around in circles. And Stern is actually one of the guiltiest units of this, where Stern has a buff that he will run around and give to everybody before he starts using other buffs, which is kind of a, a da very bad thing in regular Guild War where you can't control your spacing. But here in free match, I can control that buff rotation. And so just to recap, you know, Stern is my slot one unit. So he technically starts off with the hate in this team. So uh, Cloud is my fastest. You can actually tell in the initial placements how fast your units are. If you click the unit and then click the magnifying glass, you'll see the agility value here. The reason why this is important is because in the menu before this that I was showing you, those agility values are not including teammate affinity. Once you start putting them next to each other, agility is one of the factors that will increase. Now, here's the thing. Everyone's got different base agility values, right? So the, the agility you see in the menu screen is not the same agility that you'll see in this game mode once the teammate affinity is being applied so right now stern is at 124 agility if you click on lucio and look at the magnifying glass he's at 123 i actually have that very intentional in terms of the trust stones on the right side instead of having three agility stones i actually took one off 
and just threw in a random other trust stone so that Lucio would be one agility lower than Stern. This could be very important. And then for Cloud, he's by far the fastest, 131 agility here. And so the idea is that uh, Cloud is going to move to a Stern, who's going to buff him. Stern is then going to use his teammate buff, which normally repeats because you have to run around everyone. But he won't have to do that this time because he's going to capture both of these units in that buff. That's why Stern needs to be one agility faster than Lucio. I need to make sure that he moves before Lucio moves. At that point, Lucio should keen blade both of them. They'll all start moving forward. Uh, Cloud has a secondary buff he's going to use. It's likely going to be his TMR that I need to double check. Uh, Stern is going to then use his second one. And then I actually have everything disabled on Lucio except his barrier. So he should barrier. And by that time, they're going to end up right around here. They, there's often going to be some turns where they probably don't act because the, they might not be close enough yet, but that's okay. Uh, I, I'm willing to just make sure that I get that buff rotation locked down. And so I do need just to check very quickly here what I have on for Cloud for a TMR. I think I might need to change it. Uh, yeah, I do not want him to have bells. Uh, I do want something else for a second buff for him. And honestly, I think I'm going to go with the good old fashioned uh, eye patch here just for the extra agility and the haste. Sure, it can get dispelled, but I'm okay with that. We'll see what ends up happening. But for now, uh, I'm going to roll with this. So that's the team. That's the setup. That's what we're working with. Let's commence the matchmaking, see what we get, and then obviously see what we have to tweak if the placements have to change, if I want to get more creative with the TMRs, uh, with Cloud. Um, we'll see. Even uh, Stern, actually, you know what? I should check this. Because Stern will... Uh, I did not check the TMR toggle. This is why toggles are very important. I do have this off, so he's not going to use... Ketone TMR. I think I'm okay with that. We'll see. I might end up changing these TMRs depending upon how quickly the fight starts. Oh, we got one immediately. All right, this is good. So we're going against Joom. This is a, obviously, I would imagine a somewhat meta team just because any team with Joom in it is a meta team. That's just how strong she is. But we'll see how Lucio and Stern hold up. They're running a mono greatsword team, but it's the Astrius version. And they're on a side of the map that I've not seen much of the initial placements in they're typically more in the middle but Astrius is the fastest that's i'll be honest that's kind of irregular um cloud and joom are inherently faster than him so he must be doing something very specific to make sure that Astrius is faster than them it's not a bad thing uh just not used to seeing that so cloud comes in next joom is the slowest out of the three of them uh not terribly unsurprising but i'm curious to see if that affects the battle in terms of how many terms she gets but this is a great opening buff rotation from sleepyhead uh, I'm looking to hopefully see Stern now use his teammate buff. So he should move forward those three squares. Lucio, oh, wait a minute. He can't get all three in the Keen Blade. I'm going to have to change that. Cloud did not go to the spot that I thought he was going to. So this is already way out of bounds for what I want. And you'll notice now the spacing. I don't love this. Uh, Cloud is way too far away from them. Uh, this is going to go south very quickly for me, I think. But nonetheless... Uh, their own cloud, Crystal Grace, that is the uh, the nun, oh my god, Bronwell TMR, that has the uh, AP reduction down, that is Astrid's own self buff, that's a very strong one to get off, I would imagine Joom, oh, she got baited, she did not use her second buff, kind of the downside of having that lower agility there, ton of damage to uh, Stern, but Cloud fortunately gets haste online here, that maybe he will catch up pretty quickly, there's no re-raise remove yet. So at least Stern gets to re-raise. Does he use the limit break here? He might. I, I did want to kind of showcase some of these limit break upgrades to see if they actually had any tangible impact on things. We'll see here. So Stern's actually going to give himself haste here as well. So despite the fact that he's living by a thread. Oh, it's just on the Joom. Okay. All right. Uh, not, not amazing, but... We'll see if that haste ends up giving him another turn relatively quickly. Here comes Lucio. This is the light in peril. Uh, also gives himself damage absorbed for three turns. I am curious to see the damage this does. That's not bad. If that was a critical hit, that brings her down to courage. Cloud's going to come in here now. Unfortunately, does not have the courage removal. If Cloud did, if only he did, uh, this unfortunately will bring her to courage. That's kind of the uh, unfortunate thing here. So she will get another turn. But I have two hasted units. Can, can the unit affinity catch them quick enough here it's not gonna for stern unfortunately he's out this is not over though i am curious to see if my cloud can no i think lucio is gonna die here unfortunately yep there he goes listen my cloud's really strong i don't think my cloud is this strong if he can 3v1 this i'm gonna end the showcase right here nope there <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, that literally could not have been worse. So uh, Astrius has cards removal on hit. Uh, so not only did he counterattack him preemptively, but he removed the courage in that counterattack. So the takeaway here is I need to tweak some things from the initial placement perspective so that all three of those units uh, are caught in the Keen Blade. Unfortunately, Cloud did not move the way I wanted. So this is going to be kind of tough. So the, the, the problem was that Cloud ended up moving to Stern's left. And he doesn't need to move that far. I do wonder if I put him over here. What's his agility? 121. So now he's slower because he's losing that unit affinity. Hmm. Okay. I think I got it, guys. This is this is the fun with initial placements. So Cloud uh, should have moved four because I have his agility passive on. So Cloud will move one, two, three, four. He will buff Stern. Stern will then move backward to buff both Lucio and Clouds, because that's the AI. They always want to capture as many people as possible. And then Lucio will be able to clean, keen blade both of them here. The only downside I can think of, my Stern is a little bit further ahead. If I get a team that like does this like Zerg rush across the map real fast at me, he's got a very long range. He could get baited if they do that. We're going to roll the dice, though, see if that ends up happening. Mm, we got a match here. All right. JJ Levy. So this is a... Uh, day one player with the perfect attendance title, rank 191, obviously a strong veteran. Ash and King Mon here. Very curious to see what iteration of team that Mon is in. Uh, could be obviously Mono Earth. Could be, this is a good one too. Summer Glassy and Joom. This is going to be a very tough team for me to eat through. That Summer Glassy aura. <clears throat> I don't know if I have the fire firepower to break through her before they kill me. But anything's possible. So they're obviously... Faster than me, both of them moving first. Uh, Cloud should hopefully here move to Stern. Summer Glassy, I don't think will bait me. She does have move plus one, but I don't think she can get in range, so I'm okay with that. That's the Veritas TMR. That's very interesting. So now her, her aura is still not online. There's him moving backward. So now Lucio should use the Keen Blade. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with this turn rotation so far. So he'll move forward. My Cloud should then use the TMR, which gets the Haste online. Oh, they're starting to spread out a little bit, though. Obviously, we don't like to see that. I want them to stay together. Uh, Stern is going to use his own second buff here now. That's the re-raise, the CT up, all those good things. Okay, I'm okay with this, you know, because they, they're going to end up converging in the middle anyway. Uh, barrier? Barrier. Okay, we're, we're eating good here. I'm okay with this. I am very much okay with this. I'm okay with Lucio standing in the front because he does get some good, like, bravery down on his AoE, which is technically a damage nerf. He can obviously take, like, a hit or two. I don't really care if, if he lives all that long. I just need him to get the light and peril down. I need him to, you know, get the bravery down. That's really it. But if I can bait Glassy... Okay, she's not in range yet. That would have been enormous if I baited Glassy and she did not get the aura off. But Cloud's going to move next here. That's the cross slash ability. You know what? Not the worst damage. I already get the heal back from her. Stern's going to come in here. I think Stern can limit break her from afar. Oh, he's time to That's the CT down. I'm okay with that too. I have such a strong turn to turn advantage at the moment because of Keen Blade. Lucio's, I think, going to use his Radiant Grace. Oh, no, it's the limit break. He's just going to the Luminous Grace instead. Uh, this, If this is on Glassy, this will bring her to Courage, I think. Oh, my God. It brought both. It brought, holy cow. Okay, and Cloud's going to lap and go again. I think Cloud's going to kill both of them right here. I think Cloud gets both Joom and Glassy. He gets all three of them in it. I'll take it. Oh, my God. Six chain? That's ins No one's living through that. That's insanity. But Mont's going to come in here now. Never underestimate Mont. Even a 3v1. If Mont comes in here and limit breaks, he gets his own haste, his own follow-up attacks. You know, but he's got no unit crush yet. I do have some barriers online. That's pretty good. That's some solid damage I took from that. I have a very strong turn order advantage at the moment now. Here comes Cross Slash. I bring him to Courage. At least he'll get the heal back. But Stern's going to come in here next. I, I don't know what Stern's going to use from an, an ability perspective. Time Sealer again. All right. Hey, that's pretty easy. That is something. I did not expect that. That turn order rotation... Oh, chef's kiss and, and Stern throwing in the little CT down there. Honestly, I have that ability that's on his sub job, his main sub job. It's a good ability. It's, I don't I don't often rely on it. Obviously, his large diamond re-raise and the limit break are like the, the flashiest ones. But that was just an exceptional fight. So while we're waiting to match make, let's talk a little bit about the spacing and why that matters so much. Uh, talked about it yesterday. Talked about it today in that first match where Cloud got left behind in the dust a little bit. 
one of the, the important things about your team, you don't necessarily always want them to be exactly together in a group, because sometimes that's not good either. If your group is just getting absolutely slammed by giant diamond AoEs, which are typically the, the strongest, most potent AoEs or abilities with like lots of abilities on them, the thing is if you're too far ahead of your team, you give the enemy AI the preference to maximize their damage versus you. What I mean by that is, you know, when, it, when a character approaches you and does a damage calc of what ability they're going to use, they always choose to maximize damage. So they're always going to hit you at your weakest point. They can choose a single target ability, an AoE ability, It's but no matter what, they're going to use the most offensively potent ability possible. And because if their team is a little more grouped up and your team is not, they have a better likelihood to chain and gang up on that single unit. And most units can't survive three attacks or four attacks unless they're specially designed for that. And so, oh, I'll pause. We've got a match. This is an OG mod. Oh, this, okay. This is a rank 133 team. Older units and newer units. That's certainly part of it. So as much as this is a showcase, this also is a little tutorial on uh, tips of what to do, what not to do. But we got an instant match here again. This is versus Berg, level 189, A2. You know, uh, attack stat, it's not triple greatsword. It's likely, I would think, maybe another Aldoa team based off the magic stat. Could be Mono Ice. Very intrigued to see what they roll out with here. But uh, we'll see if we can get a good free match match here. Here we go. We loaded. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, they did not. <laughs> they didn't finish the leveling up of A2, but we got initial placements. They're definitely at level 140. This is going to be a relatively competitive team. Ju moving first, not a regular. That's exactly what I would expect. Cloud's going to move second here. I'm pretty okay with this. A2 is the third fastest unit on the field. She will be even faster when she applies her agility buff here, which she will to both of these units. Very good opening AI rotation for this team. Uh, I am curious if Aldoa laps Lucio with that agility buff. She does not, but Stern's going to be able to come in here and use his teammate buff. Lucio should be able to move forward here now and use Keenblade on both of them. There we go. Uh, you'll notice the pathing is already a little bit different here with Cloud, where he is already at the, the top of the step. That's the Veritas TMR. Okay. Aldoa's not got her second buff online yet. She might not. Here comes Haste from Cloud. He's not in range yet. This will be good, though. Cloud should act again relatively quickly in the turn order as that CT accumulates. There's my self-buff re-raise for Stern. Lucio should now apply that physical barrier to self. I'm pretty happy with this so far. Cloud is still maintaining the turn order. I think this is going to get dispelled. Springstorm comes in. No, that's her diamond. So Cloud retains the Haste for now. I wonder if A2 will dispel it now on hit. She likely would. I would I would think so. Yeah, there's the haste removal. Cloud's still in a half-decent spot from an HP perspective. I am curious the damage this does, though, because they are a little... Okay, it's all three of them. They are in AoE range. Although already procs her heal back. She's going to move forward here. You know what? I think they're about to line up in such a way that Stern will likely come in here with his limit break if the height allows for it. This is going to also dispel... He was already dispelled, but... Um, remove card seal, all attack res up for her, which should help against the slash damage. Time seal, oh my god! Bro, that ability is coming in clutch today. CT down on the Joom. Doesn't change the turn order from what I can tell, but Lucio's gonna come in here. Okay, so here's the, the big difference here. Aldoa is on a different height tile that Aldoa cannot be targeted at the moment by them, where it's a, a difference of height 2 exceptionally clutched there how that worked out a2 is still going to go here i don't think she can secure a kill on any of them cloud's effective hp is just too high but a lot of good stats there she at least regenerates some of her hp cloud i think is going to kill a2 if i had to guess the re-raise will proc at least yep so she comes back online this is a lot of damage even with the aura which i'm, I'm pretty sure the aura. i gotta check this does the old doa aura go height of two not something I often have to consider. Here's the limit break. And the... No, the Aldoa Aura is only height of one. Okay, good to know. 
Here comes Limit Break. That's a fair amount of damage to a 2. He regenerates some health based off of that. I have Blood Sword on Stern. That's why you're seeing him regenerate some of that health. Lucio is going to finish the job relatively quickly now. Basic attack for 1700. And that's the fight. That was exceptional. Man, that, again, that's that really came down to kind of a little bit of luck there with the, the tile spacing, how Aldoa was on two heights below. And then how when A2 moved up, she was also two heights above. So uh, the movement just barely working my advantage there that they didn't even get to target Aldoa. They focused on Joom first because she was the only targetable unit there. We're going to go for one more fight here. We got an instant queue. It's another Joom. This is perfect because I do want to fight against some of the uh, top higher level teams that are a little more optimized for this. Um, I am curious to see, obviously, what, it, what iteration of Jumas is. And this looks to be the same exact team. Uh, we'll, we'll, but looks like no initial placements. Mm, don't, don't love that. But still a meta team. We'll see exactly how important that ends up being. Can they just crush me with stats? Then again, all three of my units are max reincarnated. So the difference in stats is not uh, as large as it could be. Then again, maybe there's our two, and, and then it's equal. Yeah, a no initial placement here. I, I think it's going to work against them in their favor, but we'll see. Joom gets her own. That's her teammate buff that she applies to herself, because no teammates are in range. She cannot get across there. Uh, there's the Veritas TMR again. No, th this is still a good TMR versus Ashen King Maw, but in, in free match, you need to make sure you, you don't get baited, and... I don't think that's going to happen here. I think Aldo was in range already. Part of that's my own doing because the Keen Blade, but you have to anticipate that. You have to anticipate the Zerg Rush, and if that happens, you, you adjust. So here comes the barrier from Lucio. A2 getting her own haste online. This is actually very good, although I don't think she got her barrier seal and wide guard res up, so we'll see if that comes back to bite her damage-wise. That's still a good amount of damage, the healing down applied. She's got her slash res pen online. Yeah, oh, that's... Oh, no, 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 no. That's the Ildira holiday party attack. Guys, always turn that, that vision card ability off. You do not want your Ildoa using that. It's longer than her range, so she got baited. She did not actually get her aura buff off there. Although it immobilized Cloud, that's cool. That is a that is not Ildoa's job. Turn that toggle off on your vision cards. I don't think there's any vision card that toggle should be on for a magic user. Joom's going to go down very quickly here because she's just so far out front. Some decent damage. You know, it's it's not over yet. You know, they're all one-hit mode. Although is at least in range now. This could come in clutch for Joom, who, hanging on by a thread. If I don't kill Joom, Joom could do some serious work against me. I at least take out the Aldoa. But man, if Joom comes in with a wide AoE here, she could... It's going to be tight. Whirling Bloom at dispels a whole bunch here i think stern still has re-raise applied though so hopefully stern can get the re-raise online cloud i think still has his courage this limit break coming out here brings them together i do get the re-raise cloud is at courage this is still going to come down to the wire but stern gets the ct up upon re-raise very important for turn order here lucio with the radiant nova oh with the ap down and the bravery down that's the fight that was still tight, but man, I can tell you right now, if that team had initial placements done properly, I, I don't think I win that fight. But Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is JB79, guys. You cannot see that in the screen because my camera is covering it. I put out a little SOS into the Howl Discord just to see if we could get a, uh, a top meta team here to queue and Boy, I could not ask for a better matchup. All right, so we got Summer Glassy, Kadaj, and Joom in a model water team. Very excited to see what JB comes out here with. Uh, Kadaj is the fastest on the team, gets that haste online very quickly. He is very close to the cusp of this arena. Because of the speed, I might not get that full turn rotation off here, but we'll see how it works out. Cloud's at least going to be able to move here. Stern is at least going to move back, so Stern will... Oh, wait a minute. If Glassy moves too far forward here, Stern actually might get baited with the limit break here. She uses the Veritas TMR, so there is a risk that she does not get her second buff either. Please run backward. Yes. Okay. So Stern at least does this. We're, we're okay. We're, we're safe, guys. Lucio 
Keenblade. I think we're going to lap Kadaj here because of that. We do. So Cloud's going to get the haste online. Stern's going to get a second buff online. We're going to be in range for Glassy to go next. I don't think Glassy is close enough to still be baited. So Summer Glassy will likely still get her second buff off, which is her aura. She is aura-less at the moment. Uh, Lucio's going to go again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The, I actually might have baited him here. Lucio's going to get the very important late in peril on Summer Glassy, which is going to greatly help the future damage. Again, not a ton of damage for Lucio, but on all those follow-up attacks, if I can take out Summer Glassy quickly here, it's not as much of a threat because she's aura less. I baited Joom as well. She did not get that second buff off here. So Glassy's going to move forward short thing. Please don't stop anybody. She did not get the stop off on either of them. Cloud's going to move forward here. I would imagine the limit break on Glassy. Cross Slash instead. So the AoE res is not as high for... Yeah, AoE res is not as high as the unit res. Kadaj coming in here with the defense break. Down goes Lucio. We'll see if Stern can come in here and clutch and get his own haste online with the limit break. He's not. He's going to CT steal, but because she never got a buff off, there is no courage to actually remove. Down goes Summer Glaciella. We'll see if Cloud can do anything fun here. Blade Blast on both of them removes the haste from Kadaj. I'm going to need Stern to come in clutch here with the limit break mid-fight because I don't think that Cloud's going to be able to solo pull it off. Whirling Bloom is the Dispel. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Is it? I don't remember. Kadaj, please don't re-raise your move. Yeah, he still has it. He still has it. If I can get the limit break here, I can do some work here, guys. So Stern's going to get the limit break off here. I hope. Please use it. Oh, it's the fucking reflex of all things. I needed that damage. So here it comes down. He's going to at least get a haste online. He's going to get the AoE res pen. It misses. Can Cloud at least finish up here and do something to Kadaj? At least maybe get rid of the Joom. At least do something. I don't think I'm going to win on turn order here now, though, because they have the courage and the re-raise. They're going to get rebuttals to attack again here. Cloud still has his courage up, but he's not going to live through two hits. And obviously Stern has nothing. So I think, I think he's going to take it here. I don't think it would have mattered if Kadaj reflexed or not, because I still would have lost anyway. But boy, that was... Honestly, close. I'm glad I was able to get the bait off at the very least. Lucio, you know, exactly as much durability as I expected versus these year four units. But I still think a very fun match to end on. We'll cut things here, but thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you all later.